Quilting is an American folk art and an important part of our cultural heritage. The quilter uses fabric and thread like a painter uses canvas and oils. As they married and began their housekeeping, pioneer brides made several quilts. The quilts were made for warmth and were a thrifty use of small pieces of fabric. Patchwork quilts are made one block at a time and then the blocks are sewn together. The fabric is cut into pieces and the pieces are stitched together either with a needle and thread or on a sewing machine. The quilt patterns have names such as nine patch, Irish chain, pinwheel, wedding ring, and flying geese. Quilts have three layers. The beautiful top has colorful fabric which is cut into shapes and sewn together to form a pattern. There's a middle layer of batting which provides some warmth and the back layer. These layers are sewn together either by hand with a needle and thread or quilted together on a sewing machine. Dahlia Warren Hanning, my grandmother, was a homemaker and a mother of nine children. She created quilts from scraps of fabric left over from sewing shirts for her sons and dresses for her daughters. She also made quilt tops from feed sacks, recycling these pieces of fabric. The tiny pieces of fabric were sewn by hand with very tiny stitches and quilted by hand to create a beautiful and useful quilt. Ruby Dell Hanning Lowe, my mom, was a seamstress who grew up during the Depression. She began quilting to use her scraps of fabric which remained from sewing clothing. She wanted to recycle these pieces of fabric since she was from a generation that wasted nothing. Her long wooden quilting frames were made by her brother for her mother Dahlia Hanning's quilting. Ruby cherished these quilting frames. Ruby made quilts for her children for college and then for wedding gifts. After grandchildren arrive, she made quilts for them. First, she made baby quilts, the overall bill pattern for the boys, and the sunbonnet Sioux pattern quilts for the girls. The next quilts for the boys were made from a turtle pattern. Some of these contained fabric left from her children's handmade clothes. Each grandchild received a quilt upon graduating from high school and then another one when graduating from college. Then Ruby made quilts for her great-grandchildren with the joy and love that only a great-grandmother can know. I'm continuing the legacy of quilting started by my grandmother Dahlia Hanning and my mom Ruby Lowe. I'm now quilting for my children and grandchildren. My quilting projects are stitched together on the sewing machine and then quilted by hand.